Joining us now, O.J. McDuffie, a former All-American wide receiver at Penn State. O.J., thanks for joining us here this morning. Let's play off right, uh, Erica, just asked Armin a second ago. Uh, does Joe keep his job in your estimation, or does he become just the, the highest-profile fall guy in a very ugly situation? Well, it is, it is a terrible situation, and it's going to be tough for Coach to, to retain his job. Um, I mean, it's just very ugly, and, uh, you know, look at all the wins that Joe has. It's, it means nothing compared to what's going on at the university right now. And, um, you know, Joe uh, legally obviously did the right thing, but morally, you know, who knows? I think if Joe had a chance to do it all over again, he would, he would do things a little differently. So is that, that your belief that he's not necessarily at fault here, but he should have done more when he first found out about these allegations? Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, I think everybody, you know, looking back would do things a little different. I think Mike McQuarrie would have probably handled a little differently. I think uh, Joe would handle a little differently. Obviously, you know, the other guys. But, you know, let's, let's, let's keep it real. The real situation is what Jerry has done. You know, Jerry's the guy that put a lot of these guys, and especially these, these poor, innocent little boys, you know, uh, as, as victims. He's the one that's put everybody in the situation. So uh, the fact that the other guys didn't do much about it, let's, let's really look at what Jerry has done uh, with an eyewitness account by Mike McQuarrie that it's just been a, it's just bad situation he's put everybody in uh, but I do feel the guys you know uh, they thought long and hard about what to do, but I think if they did it again, they would go to the authorities. You know, you're a proud alum of Penn State. Uh, as far as your reaction to how the school has handled this overall and how they're reacting with damage control right now, what would you say? Well, they, they handled the situation obviously very terrible. I mean, uh, when, you, when there were allegations in 98 and then something else happened in 2002, we could have avoided, the university could have avoided other young men, uh, you know, being preyed on by this guy. And um, I think going forward now, you know, I think they're trying to do the right thing in, 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 in getting Joe uh, prepared to, to depart the university. You know, I think they've tried to get him out a, a number of different ways now. And I think this is finally the, this is going to be the final straw. I think uh, the fact is this all happened on Joe's watch. Uh, it's going to, it's going to, you know, tarnish what he's already built, and it's probably going to be the end of his career at Penn State, in my opinion. Can the school recover from something like this? Do you think? Um, you know what? I, I talked about it with a lot of my friends, and you know, as a former player, I'd rather we have NCAA violations, rules violations, tattoos, you know, hanging out with a booster than something like this. This is absolutely appalling what's happened at our at our university, and it's going to take a long time. Um, for us to, to for us to come back from this, I know Joe has built some fine young men, and I you know I'm very proud of the fact that I went to Penn State, and I know that you know Joe is just a great man, and uh, I hope that you know he's able to recover from this, and I hope the university eventually does. But the most important thing, obviously, are the boys that were affected in the situation. Yeah, Joe is this this pious figure uh, in all of college football, not just in state college. How disappointed are you in your former head coach? Well, you know what? I love him to death. I mean, he's a, he's a great man. He's molded a lot of young men like myself into being not football players, but try to be the best men and, 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 and fathers and family members we can be. Um, Joe is, you know, he's a great guy. Um, I, like I said earlier, though, I feel like, you know, uh, if he could do it over again, he would go to the authority. I think he, he might have fumbled this time. And uh, it's, it's just bad that nobody, absolutely nobody went to the authorities in a timely manner. All right. O.J. McDuffie, thank you for taking the time for, uh, and speaking with us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. O.J., obviously a former All-American at school, NFL career, and uh, like a lot of alum right now, uh, looking back at this and just wondering, how could this happen? Hard. And basically, you, you, have, to, you, you have to clean house. You, you've got to rid yourself of this situation. Hard for a lot of people to imagine why yeah. someone would not then uh, you yeah. know, continue and, and go on to the authorities after that.